For this build, you'll need these metric screws, these panel mounting screws, these 3D printed parts, an acrylic bezel, this decal I printed on a shipping label, an X27 stepper motor, an Arduino Mega, and wire. Our first step is to get this 3D printed part, this decal, and put them together. You can align these dots with the holes right here. I always like to hold it up to the light and let the sh light shine through. Then just cut around the edge. The next step is to stab the X27 stepper through the hole right here. Once it's stabbed through there, you can use your M2 screws. These should be 20 millimeters long. You can try to find the placement through the, here. I usually just stab it through the back. There are two countersunk holes here. You can... Okay. There are two countersunk holes here. You can find them by putting this up to the light. And you can screw them in. Once you get the screws to pop through, put on the X27 stepper motor. Now just continue screwing around. Ta-da! Now we can assemble this bezel here. You have your acrylic glass, put it in, wipe any fingerprints, better now than later, and put in the seal. If you don't have an acrylic glass, you can just print two seals. Now this would go over here, we just need to put on the needle. For this needle, I have these needle nose pliers. I'm going to take the shaft of the motor and rotate it all the way um, to one side. In this case, I'm going clockwise. Yeah. That will be the minimum right here. You're going to actually end up putting it about here and then press it down. Don't stab yourself with the shaft of this motor. It hurts. It's like a needle. The next step would be to put this on, but we want to make sure that the needle is moving properly before we seal it. That's where MobiFlight comes in. The next step would be to use these screws and four corners to fix this together, but we want to make sure that the needle behaves properly first. That's where MobiFlight comes in. The wiring is pretty fun. It goes one, two, three, four. This is a front view. And in the software, or in the, your wiring, you have to switch pins two and three. So it'd be one, two, three, four. And <laughs> the wiring is, I guess, kind of like you tighten your tires or something. I've already shown you this wiring in the airspeed video, so if you want to learn more about it, go over there. Personally, this configuration is a little bit strange. Like if it just depends on your motor configuration, how many degrees you have, how many steps per revolution of the motor. So I have a few files um, in the GitHub linked below that should be right for yours. Just like click the right file. Now that we have this all wired, let's head over to MobiFlight in a blank configuration, go to MobiFlight modules and create a stepper motor. In my case, I'm just using the first four available pins and remember to switch pins two and three either in the software or in your wiring. In this instrument, we don't have a zero. Let's name this VSI motor. Upload config, and go from there. Now, for output configs, let's say VSI, and for this one we'll do X plane. It should be basically identical in Microsoft Flight Sim. We're going to jump over to X-Plane. I'm not using Microsoft Flight Sim because it doesn't load on my computer anymore. <laughs> I'm going to use X-Plane Data Ref, and we're going to look for vertical speed. And near the bottom, you have uh, VH end FPM. This gives you your vertical velocity in feet per second, or feet per minute. I'm really hoping it's feet per minute, not per second. Just type vertical, and let's have vertical uh, vertical velocity. This would be the same for Microsoft Flight Sim. You just go to vertical speed here, and that would give you your number. It's just uh, what sim you're reading the value from. 
Now, over to display. Let's use type stepper from our Arduino and use VSI motor. And, okay, let's actually go back to our uh, MobiFlight modules and select X27 staff half step mode. Upload this. and we should be all good to go. Under display, let's go to output device, your MobiFlight Arduino, use a stepper, use your vertical speed stepper, and under display scale, we're going to go 360, like 360 degrees. Compass mode can be disabled, and then full, for full revolution, we're going to actually go 27 squared, gives us our value of uh, 729, this is just a like a handy memory aid. This value you could actually just play around and find, but I just remember x27, um, 27 squared. <laughs> it's kind of a neat coincidence. Copy this, uh, paste it, and now because it's we're in half step mode, um, we can go over to Movie Flight modules, click here. We did x27 half step mode. Because we're in half step mode, we have to double this value. So uh, 279 times 2 is 1458. Every time we go 1458 steps, that's a whole 360 degrees. Unfortunately, this motor is limited to 315 degrees. So we're going to have to use 158 degrees in each direction. You can do this math right here. 315 divided by 2 is 150, basically 8. So once we zero it and press test, we have negative 158 here and positive 158. You don't have to put the positive. That just, I don't know, it's kind of fun. A great way to zero the needle in real life is to go negative 158, press test. That gives it a minute. Ah, that gives it the minimum value. Then go to positive 158. Test that gives you the maximum value, and wherever it lands is in the middle. It hits both of the extents. Shift that to zero and try again. Now let's click test and we'll realize this is 15, 16, 17, 1800 uh, vertical feet per minute. So we'll take note of that. It's, uh, it has an 1800 to negative 1800 vertical feet per minute um, limit on the stepper motor itself. There's a tiny stop in the X27 stepper that you can get rid of to remove this problem. You just have to take it apart and snip this little uh, notch. Or you can make the uh, BYJ48 version that has continuous motion so you won't have to worry about this. In my case, I'm just gonna take it how it is and have 1800 the maximum. So if we go into interpolation, we can say, okay, whenever it gives me a value of negative, um, negative 1800, that should give me a value of negative 158. And then for positive 1800, that should give me a value of 158. So here, if it's, most negative, it gives it the lowest possible value. And if it's most positive, it gives it the correct highest possible value here. Now let's test this out. When we click run, when we're on the ground, it matches. And if we go up, click ourselves, put us up in the air. Now we'll see that, uh, I think we're blacking out, but we'll see that it's pinned at negative 20, and in our case, it's pinned at the maximum the instrument can go, negative 100 and 
uh, negative 1800. Let's uh, level out and show you it working in real life too. All right, we'll see it at the maximum position. So there you have it. You have an operational vertical speed indicator. So there you have it. You have an operational vertical speed indicator. I have a second decal for the X27 version that uh, the maximum the motor turns is uh, where the 20 marking is here. So you can also print that and instead use 20 hundred here and here. Thank you so much to the patrons of this channel and Altimeter Motors for being a longtime supporter. I hope you all have a fantabulous rest of your day and stay spicy.